Welcome to Futani Grau. In this segment, we talk to Royal Queens FC. They tell us about their aspiration and their journey. I'm Steven Ouma, now known as Coach Steven, Coach Steve yeah, the coach of Royal Queens FC. A young uh, girls team, I can say young, because of the, the time it started, not that much a lo uh, long ago. Uh, it has been tough. We can't say the, the journey has been that good. Yeah, starting with two girls and now at least you can see there is something going on. We have this school here, which is Beth Mugu High School. There is several sports over there. So they used to, no, they have, they used to have a girls team which it was only for the team of uh, from the school Bethmogo. so uh, we had several girls from outside they really wanted to join a team that they can feel like because to you know they have a career in this so they need uh, really to play like less than five and then we had uh, the school conversation with the head coach so we sit down and then we say why don't we make a club we take the outsiders players and the inside players. So majority as we speak, the inside players from the Bethmogo. But we have few from outside. That's why we decided to say, let's make a club, not to be the school, but to be outside school club. Royal is associated with the move. There is power in it. Then uh, there's that ability. Okay, so when I talk of Royal Queens, I just chose that name. When you check at our logo, there's the Royal, there's the, the King or the Queen part, then there's Kagal in the middle, then there's football. So I would associate a success or prowess with football and all in all, girls. As a team, they've had to deal with the challenges that comes with working with young girls who are still in school. Basically handling girls isn't that easy, it's not like handling boys. Handling girls, you need to be so careful because I'm a, a male, they are female, and then they are young. So basically, uh, not easy for a parent to trust you with a kid because most of them are young, except a very few who are a bit of old. So we got trust issues, we got financial challenges, and then uh, what any other thing? Financial constraints comes with you know, the resources, balls, and all these that you see here now. We are going to join the team. When did you join the team? I am going to join the team. 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 So you go from? Three. From three. Oh, nice. How did you join the team? Jimi, Jimi na penanga futa, ju baba ngo anchiza futa na sister ngo anchiza futa. So Jimi ni pena tuvlo na chiza bol. Ika ni baba ni ka mwa kujoin, ni kwe kama. Nice. Na mbona uliamua, mbona uliamua kujoin football na team? Eh ni lajo, ni liamua kujoin football ndo ni si jenge jine zo, zo staff zingi ne. Na ni kitu na penda, ni passion. You know, in uh, grassroots football, this is still a grassroots as as long as still they are girls, eh? but still grassroots. We equipments, that's the big challenge we have. As I told you about the gr uh, pitch, as you can see, we share with a lot of guys. Uh, they are the only girls in this pitch. So they just have to be given the priority. But when the time for boys comes, they have to. So that's another challenge of the pitch. If we get another one which is not shared or which is uh, specifically for them, it will be a very good one. I have to train mingi I have to grow here to pia. Sipu asana. I did to a game. Ball na pigu hapa ina bounce. Na beeps pia tuna. Na cons. Na yeze tuna. Financially, I can't say that we can't finish that. Financial is a daily problem. Okay, so uh, that drives me to how I run this team. I run this team from, I can say, my pocket, from friends who help me at points, because I'm the founder, okay? 
So I'm the founder and I'm the coach. Basically, from friends, I can say that one day I tell you, ah, Leo, you have a game. Miss Adeka, my moja, Kesho was standing up at Maji. You get so Miss Adeka, my moja, Mutumgi, my moja. Then I hide on top. Then all shall be well. When we started playing like a friendly and tournament. It was a little bit uh, hectic. We didn't know where we, if we'll get where we are now. Uh, we used to have many girls, but on the training time, they disappear because of the training. I guess it's because of the, you know, we call this red carpet. And uh, we have others who are consistent on this spot. So they used to come since we started till now. Now their successes, now they can play like real men. Ch challenges. Kukosa ball pia, tena kubalan shule na ball. Mm. The team currently plays in the county league with the hope of scaling to much higher level. Royal Queens is currently playing FKF Women County League, uh, which is compressed of. Uh, uh, 11 teams currently, 11 teams currently, that's Nairobi West, we've got 11 teams uh, drawn from Nairobi West all over and the going is well I think, we're in that much bad place, the guys are trying their best, at least they're getting the exposure, the experience, being that most of them are young, the first leg is gone, we are at position 5 out of the 11, that's the middle of the table. But hopefully they'll do better than that in the second leg. We got first leg and second leg. We have a match we play with the Kahawa Queens. They really trashed us. <laughs> so we were like, do we have to continue? That's the most humiliating match we played because they, we were beaten 6 nil. And uh, we had challenge of players. Uh, the traveling players, they were less. And then they were not those that we first 11 players. So we just say, let's go. We don't have to give walk over. They thrash us, yes. Uh, but eventually we learned from them. We talk about the best team uh, in county league as, now, as that now is Kawa Queens. It is full of experience, ex premier. So it's a good team because of the experience they have. Yeah, it's a good team to give us a challenge. Ninge taka team na tupatia challenge. Kaganio. Kama tu Viga Queens. So kwa hivyo wewe ungependa Viga Queens ndio ikuje wapatie challenge. Ah ah zia tinge. Ah ah. Etseme. Seme Viga Queens basi. Viga Queens. Ungependa mpewe challenge na which team? Kwa sema maybe tukiendelea endelea hivyo tukiona tume improve stand out letu Viga Queens pia. What a challenge. We, we want Viga Queens, yes. If not Viga Queens, Ulinzi Starlets. Mm. Kibra Soccer is a good team, full of talent basically. Yeah, not ability talent, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So at least when we interact with them, we basically learn. It's not about winning, but learning. Support for girls is the main key that drives Royal Queen's football club. We love this thing. We love football. Uh, let's say, for, like me, when we, when uh, I was growing up, like uh, I was uh, three years, this was the thing I needed to do. So uh, I do play as well. We have our main team with the head coach as well. So coming to girls is still uh, the same thing as boys, like a passion. Okay, basically I've coached a, a main team as well. It does in 20, 2018, 2019. And then, when you check at this ground, basically what you'll see is men everywhere, men's team everywhere. There is a boys' team here. At every level, there's a boys somewhere. You get it. So, personally, I was trying to talk of who will care about these girls who are isolated. Then, we yeah, started by two or three. Then, as time goes by, in a jeep, pole pole. I talk about success in terms of how many girls have helped move from this level to the next level. 
I can't say of the trophies we've won, the games we've lost, and all that. Personally, what inspires me or what keeps me going is how many guys should I improve their lives through football? Okay, one through education, two will find jobs and such. So basically, being that my almost all my girls are young, what I do for them mostly is to nurture her. Then, if it reaches a point that this girl can be accepted somewhere else, which is better than here, I simply release the girl. For now, I can say we had a very good player here called Margaret. She's now at, at Bishop Njenga in Western. There's a good school, and the girl is being taught for free. You can say she got a scholarship just from here to that level. So for me, that's a success as a coach. I will be so much happy if these girls get a better opportunity than what they are getting now. That's by seeing my girls in KPL. That's the first thing. The women Premier League. Yeah, that's the first thing. Second, seeing them abroad will be much better. I will be so much happy Footballer um, Kubwa, Nyanazulikana. Mm -hmm. This has been the story of Royal Queens FC. They have taken us through the journey and the successes that they have been. For Futani Grau, I'm Evelyn Awar.